Welcome to the BTM channel's 35th short on Retrotech, Innovation, Science, and Space Exploration. This video is the fourth in our series on the Tesla Battery Day. Milestones 21 published the entire Tesla presentation on the new 4680 battery and associated improved manufacturing processes. Short 33 provided a 12-minute abridged version, and Short 34 provided another peek at Musk's comments on a possible Tesla Home HVAC product. Links to those videos can be found in the upper right hand corner of this video or in the description section below. Are you one of the hundreds of thousands of people who pre-ordered a Cybertruck after its November 21st, 2019 debut? If so, you are probably wondering A, when you're going to get it, and B, what features would it actually include? Two days after the reveal, Musk tweeted that Tesla had received over 100,000 pre-orders, with over 80% choosing either the dual motor or tri-motor configuration, and the remainder settling on the single motor configuration. Musk during the battery day presentation did not indicate if any of these configurations were off the table, but he did respond to two questions about the all-electric pickup truck. The first question was from a camping enthusiast who asked if climate control could be directed to the bed of the truck. One of the renderings shown by Tesla right after the reveal was that of a Cybertruck with a tent mounted to the bed in a style similar to that of the Pontiac Aztec. Pontiac stopped making the Aztec in 2005 and the Pontiac brand went defunct in 2010. So if you don't know what we are talking about, check out the Aztec in camping configuration through a web search. You'll be amazed. In any rate, Musk's answer to the climate control question was as follows. Hey guys, Eli here uh, from Tesla Owners Club, My Tesla Adventure. Uh, just quick question. So I'm a huge fan of car camping in my Tesla with my dream case, like my all-time favorite activity. Is it going to be possible to get climate control to the back of the Cybertruck? Because that would be the ultimate <laughs> camping machine if we can get all night climate control. Uh, we'll try to do that. Thank yeah. You. I agree. That would be, that'd be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-orders for the Cybertruck grew from 150,000 in the first week after the reveal to 500,000 by the end of the first quarter of 2020. Some automotive journalists have written that the backlog has risen to an excess of 750,000 by the beginning of August, although Tesla itself has not provided a figure. Musk didn't provide much clarity to that issue, but he did weigh in on the production outlook in answer to another question. We already know that the Cybertruck will be built at a new 1,200-acre Austin, Texas Gigafactory complex instead of the 370-acre Fremont facility. The local county provided $60 million in tax breaks to the company to lure it there. There are no current plans to assemble Cybertrucks at the company's 210-acre Shanghai China plant. Tesla on its own website has stated it plans to open the Austin plant in late 2021. In the following clip, Musk provides some insight by virtue of an annual production rate estimate as to when people could expect to receive their Cybertrucks, as well as revealing that the company will actually design two different Cybertrucks, the full-size version for the U.S. market and a mid-size version for the non-U.S. market. Hi, Elon, to your left here in the white Model Y. Ryan McCaffrey from the, from the Ride the Lightning Tesla podcast. Uh, curious about Cybertruck, it was interesting to see where you had it in on the battery technology front I'm sort of curious what you see for it in the production front. Is its volume, you know, trucks are so popular in America. Do you see its volume equaling the three or the Y in the future? Um, well, it's hard to say what the volume exactly would be for the Cybertruck. The, the orders are gigantic. So and we have like, I don't know, well over half a million orders. I think maybe six or 600,000. That's a lot, basically. We stopped counting. Um, so... I think there's probably room for, I don't know, at least like a unit volume of like 250 to 300,000 a year, maybe more. Um, so uh, now we are designing the Cybertruck to meet the American spec, because if you try to design a, a car to meet the global, the, the, the super set of all global re requirements, it basically, you can't make the Cybertruck. It's impossible. Um, so. Uh, it, it really is designed for the American market, but this is the biggest market. Our North American market is the biggest market for pickup trucks by far, or l large pickup trucks. And then I think for, uh, in, we'll probably make an international version of, of the Cybertruck that'll be kind of smaller, you know, kind of like a tight Wolverine package. Um, it'll still be cooler, but it'll be, it'll be smaller because you just can't make a giant truck like that for most markets. Um.
So what's your take on the Cybertruck and Tesla's production plans for it? Are you a reservation holder or have you reserved a Badger from Nikola instead? Share with us by dropping a comment below. We hope you enjoyed this 35th installment in our series of tech shorts. If so, mash that like button. Want to know more about the Cybertruck? Our episode 18A discussed the Cybertruck and the history of the automotive industry in building a premium multi-purpose consumer pickup truck. A link to that episode can be found in the upper right hand corner of this video and the description section below. Links to our previous episodes can be found below. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed. Make sure you follow our Twitter account where all new episodes are announced. And finally, join us on our Facebook page where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.